This is Sally Cohn for the Women's Media Center, and I am talking with Don Hazen, the executive editor of Alternet. Hi, Don. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, Don, first of all, actually, I hear you have a little history with the Women's Media Center. You want to share with the lovely folks at home? Well, yeah. We, we were there at the beginning. You know, In fact, when the Women's Media Center had their space in the uh, Empire State Building, we needed some room for Alternet staff. And Carol Jenkins welcomed us in, and we had board meetings even at the in the conference room. Uh, the Media Consortium had its first meeting there. A lot of things happened in the old days before you moved downtown. And, and Don, you're a uh, long-standing, obviously, critic uh, and participant in uh, trying to transform the media. What do you see as the like, key levers? Is there one thing you can imagine doing to get more women's voices and more diverse voices in the media in general? Um, well, one of the problems is that women... When at Alternate, we, we have quotas. I mean, basically, you have to have three women on the front page every day. Nobody else does that, so that's one thing we're particularly proud of. Wow. But one of the harder things is to have women writers going after the military uh, and talking about police, talking about um, uh, how the economics of, of spending around security. And so we're especially anxious to find those kind of women writers. So we're out recruiting them, and we're trying to raise funds to do that. So that's, that's an important breakthrough. I think people have to really be careful about framing and, and uh, repeating right-wing messages. I mean, recently uh, a magazine that we both know very well used um, Barack Saddam Hussein in their fundraising letter uh, and repeating conservative frames. We're so bad at that. Uh, we really have to figure out a way to do that better. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's a little scary. Uh, uh, and talk to me briefly also about your sense of uh, the left and where the left is going. Uh, is talking about repeating frames, there's a common frame uh, that the left lacks any energy, lacks any momentum. Well, you, you can't, first of all, I don't call it the left. I just call it, you know, all of us, progressives, liberals, leftists. Uh, most people in, in America don't consider themselves leftists. So if we're trying to reach them, we want to call them workers or family or everybody who believes in uh, the American dream. Uh, these are much better ways of being inclusive. But obviously what's going on in New York with Occupy Wall Street is potentially huge. It's very exciting. We're putting tons of coverage into it. Uh, tomorrow, giant march, unions, Working Families Party. Uh, we're going to see what that means because it's kind of the merger uh, of the young, the young ones there who have been there for weeks with a larger community around them and they're, they're coming to support. So I hope that's a very nice marriage. Don, we're going to ask you your mystery grab bag question. Go ahead. Pull one out. Just one now. Uh, and read it to the folks and answer it. Okay. Oh, wow. What's it say? <laughs> if you could meet any female leader, living or dead, who would you choose and why? Um, well, I probably could meet her anyway, but I would love to spend some time with Jane Fonda. Because um, I think she's the greatest, uh, and I particularly like the movie that was done a couple years ago about her during the Vietnam War and, and all the coffee houses that she organized. It was a fantastic movie. She was incredibly brave for being in the film as she did, and the things she said were wonderful. So she's wow. she's first on my list. All right. Well, uh, you know, we may be able to make that happen. So Jane, if you're watching, uh, Don Hazen, Don Hazen, Jane, we'll uh, we'll try and connect you. Uh, Don, thanks for all the great work you do. Thank you.